breaking space news. Breaking news. Physicists are now super excited that the second derivative of a certain function may be negative. Long ago, they found that the first derivative of that function is positive. Then they thought that the second derivative was also positive. Then they were shocked that the third derivative could be negative. And now they think that the second derivative itself may be negative. Let me explain. All this excitement is about the study of cosmology, about the expansion of the universe. And as you may have heard, there is breaking news in this area. The expansion of our universe might be slowing down. But for all of us that are not cosmologists, their terminology is a little bit confusing. This expansion, a slowing down, acceleration, deceleration. These are derivatives. So what function are they talking about? And what is the graph of that function? What they're trying to figure out is what is the size of the universe over time? There was supposed to be a big bang where the universe was very small and then the universe started expanding in size. And we're just trying to figure out what is that size as time changes? Then the function we're interested in is a function u of x that gives me the size of the universe at time x. However, there is a problem with this in that the universe itself may be infinite in size uh, and infinite volume. So what units am I going to put for this y-axis? Um, so to solve that problem, instead of using the total size of the universe, cosmologists use the average distance between galactic objects such as galaxies. So that if the universe is expanding, that average distance is also increasing. The first data point we have for u of x is that right now the universe does have some size, some positive size, so u of x naught is positive. And then in the 1920s, Hubble discovered that the universe is expanding, so that u prime at right now is positive, and therefore the graph is increasing at this moment. The Big Bang Theory tells me that there is a point in time where u was zero, and then the universe started expanding until now. And then in the 1960s, two different teams came to the conclusion that not only the universe is expanding, the rate of change is also increasing so that the universe is expanding at an accelerated rate. And then just last year, a new team of scientists with new data came to the conclusion that yes, the universe is expanding. Yes, it seems that it's expanding at an accelerated rate, but it looks that at a, that acceleration is a slowing down. And the third derivative of that function is negative, and that has consequences for the future of the universe. Because if the third derivative is negative, well, that means that the acceleration is decreasing, and now there are many possibilities. The acceleration could be always positive and the universe keep expanding, or the acceleration could become zero, or the acceleration could become negative, in which case there is a deceleration period that can even result in a shrinking, a collapsing of the universe in the future. And then the breaking news today is that yes, the universe is increasing in size, but the second derivative may already be negative, in which case we're already in this stage of deceleration, and some point in the future, we could hit a max size of the universe and then start decreasing in size and possibly reach a big crunch. Now, there is no need to panic. Such a big crunch would be very, very, very far into the future. So you have plenty of time to learn about derivatives in the meantime.